bubble, bubble, boil, and deep fry? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today we're flip-flopping food from how you frequently feed upon it, and I'm sure it's gonna be fantastic. For and, sure. Yeah, and today's episode is sponsored by Skillshare, an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. With so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. Mm-hmm, make 2020 a year where you explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity with Skillshare's online classes, which cover topics like creative writing, photography, film and video, animation, and more. Check it out because mythicality means creativity. Yeah, Skillshare offers classes designed for real life so you can move your creative journey forward without putting life on hold. You can learn how to grow with short classes that fit your busy routine, like Real Productivity, How to Build Habits That Last by Thomas Frank. Is that why you've been skipping your haircut appointments? to have more productivity? No, Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops. An annual subscription is less than 10 bucks a month. Click the link in the description to get two free months of premium membership and explore your creativity. Thank you, Skillshare. Now, for today, I like a nice hot meal in the winter, mm -hmm. but the way you get that food hot can make or break a dang dish. Some things are boiled, some things are fried, but what would happen if we flipped the way those dishes were typically prepared? It's time for <laughs> fried boiled versus boiled fried. Which will be better? That's for our mouths to decide. The fried boil versus boil fried matchups we're about to try were posted online and you voted on which ones you thought we would like better. And now the truth will be discovered and the prize or punishment at stake is for you. It's for you. If you guess three or more matchups incorrectly, we're gonna post a photo on Instagram of us holding a loser tomato and you must comment with one sentence explaining why you are a loser tomato. Yeah. But if you get three or more right, we're gonna put on fabulous Fabio wigs in front of blowing fans and tell you how beautiful you are. Oh. That's what's at stake here. All right, let's flip that fry and boggle that boil. There are a few things better than a freshly fried donut. Maybe a latte, which technically is boiled. So we've decided to switch those things up. Here we have a box of boiled donuts and Yum. a fried latte. Don't, boiled donuts look good. This fried latte looks like, I don't, it looks like very a, foreign. It looks like a fried stick or something. I mean, the boiled donuts, I would just think, these are donuts. So you just took dough and just boiled it? Pretty much. And then I made it pretty. And, and then, then you, you, made you, it you covered your mistakes okay. up with icing. I always do. Now, is it is this brown one cinnamon? It's cinnamon sugar, yes. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try part of this one. I'm going oh. sprinklies. Oh gosh, it's so floppy. Oh gosh. It's, mm, little, they're a little wet. Dink it, sink it. It has a dumpling consistency to it, like cold dumplings, mm. like day after. There she goes. I mean, it basically tastes like a raw donut. Pretty much. I mean, you're, you're the guy raw. who likes eating dough. I love it. Half the time I go into his house, he's just got a thing of cookie dough, squeezing it right into his mouth, yeah. ignoring his children. Um, <laughs> he's got daddy's because cookie they're dough. begging for it. They daddy's want, cookie dough. They, they don't want, even. They, they want can't some have of that it. cookie dough. There's they can't a special have. place in the fridge, and it's got his name on it. <laughs> It's ridiculous. Yeah, I should start selling that. And I'm not Daddy's even that, that into that. I'd sell but, it to my kids. But this isn't bad. And I, I like it. I really like icing too. Let's have a I mean, there's a, latte. there's a sliminess to it that is, that's a little off-putting. It really stuck right into the corner when you threw it though. Yeah, I know. Okay. Now, how would you, how do you fry latte, Nicole? So I pretty much made a pudding out of a latte and then I froze it and I fried it. Okay. So I can see I can see some some pudding esque. I couldn't stuff even get a whole out. one out. I just grabbed the t the tip and it came right off. I have spoons on the side if you need help. Um <laughs> I got I got a bite full. That's pretty good. Ooh. Yeah, it's coffee pudding. With some some friedness on the outside. All right, so we have to decide which is better. That's better, dude. This tastes good. Um, there's a sliminess there that makes me vote for the latte as well. Um, so we agree. I, these are both completely edible, but I gotta say that that's that's almost a revelation. You do that at like a coffee shop, and I think that people are gonna be completely <clears throat> into that. Let's yeah, see like, what the Mythical like Beast fried said. latte. So I'd, 54% I'd be of the Mythical Beast no. thought that you'd like the fried latte better. Oh, you know us so well. Y'all all of this. Well, half of you know us so well. 
All right, let's move from sweet to meat. It's the matchup the world's been waiting for, chicken boiled steak versus fried beef stew. Now these fried balls uh, are inviting, but that right there seems scary. Yeah, I'm gonna avoid it. I mean, this just. Oh yeah. Man, I love the ideas of just putting things in balls and frying them. We're kind of in meat pie territory. Don't oh. you think, Nicole? A oh. little bit. Inside should be like a really oh. beautiful. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you know the Brits like those meat pies, the. Yeah. Oh, we didn't touch our food. Okay, too Must late. be Cretans this time. Oh, yeah. mm. That's so good. What what do you, what kind of bread do you have around here? It's a Pillsbury biscuit, the butter kind. Mm -hmm. A fried oh, biscuit. Oh man, it's real buttery. It's so flaky. You talk about comfort food. I just I'm, I feel like my mom is hugging me right now. She doesn't hug you anymore, does she? Well, she lives a long ways away, right? I noticed that last time you hung out, she just fist bumped you <laughs> when, you, <laughs> when, you, when you when you saw each other, and I was like, "That's weird." <laughs> that, that ain't true. Okay. All right, let's get into this. <laughs> you felt the need to clarify that that wasn't true. <laughs> My mom is a great woman. I'm going to take up for her at every turn. <clears throat> she kisses me on the cheek every time she sees me. I she, kiss her right back, boy. I can't. On the cheek? Depends on what day it is. <laughs> Easter. <laughs> Easter what? She said we can't talk about it. <laughs> she said we can't talk about what happens at Easter. <laughs> Look at, now Nicole, is this even cooked? I mean, it's so pink in there. Yeah, this That's is nasty. Yeah. It's rare. Oh gosh. Beef. So it's just like been flash boiled? Uh, Pretty much, yeah. Don't we know? Is it no, no, we don't know. We don't know until we dip it and get a little more gravy. Oh yeah, I gotta cover that with gravy. Is it at least hot? No. It's just straight up raw. It's just raw meat. I like soft foods. I'm kind of into it. And though. I cannot lie, but I think my taste is changing. Um, man, can boiled make anything better? This sucks. This is fabulous. That's great. That. That's a revelation. This is a mistake. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's see if so you guys can figure that out. Seventy-six percent of the MDs yeah. agreed with you on that one. <laughs> of course. And then you know, twenty-four percent of you need help. <laughs> It's pretty tough to screw up cheese, right? So we've taken mozzarella sticks and boiled them. Did that do it? But we also fried lasagna. Man, where do you want to start? Because I don't know. I think I'm. I'm a little. I want to start with what I'm afraid of. I keep looking for a utensil, but I think I'm supposed to. I think this is supposed to be finger food. So I'm just gonna go in. So it's got all the breading that you would normally. Oh yeah. wow! Fry and then. I mean, I think the cheese has remained pretty cheesy. <laughs> yeah, well, that, my cheese has kind of escaped. Right, but now- Some of the breading. Now trap it in your mouth. You're gonna dip the marinara, or I think I'm just gonna go straight. Yeah, I'm gonna get a little bit of the marinara here. It basically is a- um, Soft breaded. Yeah, it's like a, a mozzarella stick that's kind of lost its integrity, like maybe it's a day old or something, but I'd still eat it. Yeah, if you, you gotta call it something different. You gotta call it like floppy delight. I'm into that. So um, I don't know if that does it either. No, that was my nickname <laughs> in high school. <laughs> well, 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 I mean, I felt, I felt like I just had to say it. It, ta it tastes good, but you're really missing that crunch. Um, and I, I just don't know if it works without it. My oldest son even with a name recently told me that he didn't like cheese. And I said, well, son, you can emancipate yourself from our family. <laughs> Because I think that's a legal process that can begin at this age. So you took lasagna and you you deconstructed it and fried every piece individually. Is that what I'm seeing? That is what you're seeing. Okay. I just want to take a piece and just. <clears throat> so there's you got the ricotta, you got the. What are the big chunks? Fried tomatoes. Well, they're fried. They're cooked. They're not raw. Yeah. Are they? Are they? Are they cooked? They're cooked. Are they green? They're not green. Actually, I mean, that's pretty raw tomato. I'm not loving that. I but, like a fried green tomato because it doesn't taste like a tomato. It's really totally different, I think. Um, this is like a weird, stupid sandwich. You can be a little nicer about it. I didn't say it was, I said it's like a weird, stupid okay, sandwich. Yeah, right. It's not a weird, yeah. stupid sandwich. Um, it's, it is pretty weird and stupid though, I gotta say now that I have fully uh, the fried noodle. masticated it. By itself. The fried noodle could be a thing for for, for real, but something about really the way it kind of came together in the middle didn't do it for me. Again, this is like leftover mozzarella sticks. They've marinated in their own juices a little bit. 
I'm kind of into this. I think we might have a winner on the boiled side for the first time. I agree. Did you agree? 88% of the MBs thought that you would like the fried mm. lasagna. Whoa! It's not good. It's rather stupid. 88%? <laughs> yeah. So confident, yet so wrong. All right, it's our final round. Why don't we try to ruin breakfast? We got <laughs> boiled bacon versus fried oatmeal. Now, in Ireland, they do boil bacon, but it's more right. like a Canadian bacon situation. It's not like this, which is straight up bacon strips that appear to be in the middle of a process, but not at the end of it. Well, and I, because really the main difference is that American bacon just has a lot more fat, and so that boiled, unrendered fat, uh, it just, I, it's I'm, a little off-putting. I'm sure there are some people who, who like bacon this way. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's people who like floppy bacon, so. You seem to be going straight for the bacon. That's what you want to start with. Well, I, I just want to get it out of the way. I try not to bite too much of the fat. It tastes good. It's not bad, actually. Bacon in most forms tastes good. That last little swallow of fat. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, what, Nicole, This what, looks good, what, though. What's over here in these shot glasses? That's the boiled liquid of the bacon. We should chase it with it? Please do, yeah. We should, huh? Mm -hmm. Do you have a reason? Um, uh, you guys look really good today. Hey, all right, <laughs> hey. <laughs> to help yeah. as we drink yeah, boiled bacon water. That's a real good reason. Are you t dang, rat. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! That'll wake you up. You know what, once you get it down that wasn't and that you bad. breathe, it's just kind of like, I just finished breakfast. Okay, uh, now oatmeal, something I've been, I've been doing, I've been doing, have you noticed, I've been doing a bowl of oatmeal every morning now. Have you noticed a change in my behavior or in my spirits? I have noticed none of that. Well, okay, maybe I should eat more <laughs> because I've been having a bowl of oatmeal right at the beginning of every day because I saw some old lady who was like 120 years old and they said, what is the key to long life? She said, a Dr. Pepper every day and a bowl of oatmeal. I can't see a change, just to answer your original question. Okay, now you fried it, but there, what's the what's the it's liquid? Oil. oil? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh God. So you basically just fried it in oil and then put all of it into a bowl. There's also brown sugar in there. Oh good. <laughs> Thanks, Nicole. So You're basically welcome. the greasiest bowl of oatmeal yeah. ever to have existed. I mean, it is completely soaked. I want to give this thing a chance because I liked the idea of it. Yeah, if you like smush the oils down. It's very greasy. Yeah, I could slide anything in and out of my mouth right now. Oh, wow. Wow. That's a good taste. I like this. Oh, but and I, it's low fat. I can, yeah, I can just, <laughs> I can just feel. Oatmeal so low fat. Would you be willing to switch to this every morning? Yeah. Get 102? Mm -hmm. If I was like preparing for a roll <laughs> of some kind, <laughs> where I played a literal roll. <laughs> um, I'm here auditioning for the roll. <laughs> the, the part of roll? <laughs> I've been eating fried oatmeal all year. <laughs> it, the sad thing is it's an animated movie, so uh, you're just the voice, but yeah. it's going method with uh, it. It changes your voice a little bit. This is difficult. Um, no, it's not. That's good, man. The ta this this is an adulteration of something that's so good. But the this serving is, size, you could eat you could eat three strips of bacon, and I could I could not eat a whole bowl of this. The serving, I couldn't. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a what do you call the little taste at the beginning? Amuse bouge. Uh, yeah, it's an amuse bouge. Wee oui, wee. Oui. That's what it is. I, it ta the taste is excellent. It's indulgent. There's nothing off putting about it at all other than the fact that if you finish the bowl, you'd probably need to go directly to the hospital. <clears throat> you can't argue with the taste. Fried oatmeal, for the win. Did okay. you pick it? 52% of the MBs thought you would like boiled bacon. Oh, oh you guys. loser tomatoes, so you. Oh. Right. So go over to our Instagram, the loser tomatoes over there. You need to comment with why you are a loser tomato underneath. It'll be Because you fun are. And therapeutic. Yeah, those are the rules. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, me from Stillwater, Minnesota. I'm at the Minnesota State Fair eating a deep fried Reese's peanut butter cup. And it's time to swing the wheel of mythicality. Living the life. Yeah, that looks good. Click the top link to watch us compete in a hard boiled egg peeling contest. And good mythical morning. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Mythical got the crystal wash treatment. Now it's GMM's turn. Get the GMM crystal wash tea at mythical.com.